Welcome back. It's time for sports news. Here's Ayotunde Balogun. Thank you so much, Marachi. Fresh from competing at the Commonwealth Table Tennis Championship in India, where Nigeria won a bronze medal in the women's team event for the first time, Esther Ribamiche wants to build on that experience when she makes her debut at the African Games in Morocco. Ribamiche says she is determined to shock everyone at the African Games. We've been in camp now for over a month, and we've been training so hard. Within that camp, I've went to India, which I've gained a lot more experiences, and uh, I think I've improved in some of my skills and techniques. So, and, and believe in the um, same thing is applicable to other female and uh, male players, because about 20 of us home-based players have been in camp, so I believe we are all prepared. Uh, I'm ready to put in all my best, and I believe that with the effort that my coaches have put in and um, my dedication in training, I believe that I'm going to... I'm going to get to a stage and I'm going to shock everybody with my performance. Heartland Football Club has appointed former MFMFC boss Fidelis Ilechuku as its new head coach for the 2019-2020 Nigeria Professional Football League season. Ilechuku replaces the Turkish Mehmet Tayfun, whose contract was not renewed by the Nazi millionaires. Ilechuku, who coached MFMFC for 11 years, will be unveiled at Heartland's headquarters in Oweri, Imo State, on Monday. Stuart Baxter has announced his resignation as the South Africa head coach. His decision comes just weeks after the Bafana Bafana reached the quarterfinals of the African Nations Cup in Egypt. It was a second spell in charge of South Africa for the Englishman, who turns 66 later this month. Baxter becomes the ninth coach to leave his job following the Africa Cup of Nations finals last month. And that's a wrap on Sports News. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Amarachi is back to you. Thanks, Ayotunde. On entertainment news, uh, tonight pop star David O. David o announces new project with American singer Jeremiah. Maya Walgundele has details and other entertainment stories. Many thanks on Entertainment News tonight as David O's latest music video featuring American artist Chris Brown surpasses the 4 million mark on YouTube. The pop star has announced he has another project featuring American singer Jeremy. The new song titled Right Here, which he says is included in his forthcoming album, also features veteran Nigerian musician Tubaba Idibia. David O made the announcement via social media. Amaya Baga has released a video for his love song titled Playlist, the collaboration with Canada-based R&B Afrofusion singer Non Suamadi. The song, which is a track of Amaya's 2018 album Rendezvous, has its visual interpretation credited to UAX Studio. And on the foreign scene, a Christian rapper has been awarded $2.7 million by a Los Angeles jury that found that Katy Perry's 2013 hit track, Dark Horse, contained a musical passage from one of his songs. The verdict followed a copyright trial in which Marcus Gray, known as Flame, said the beat in his song, Joyful Noise, was lifted and used in Perry's single. The jury ruled that the short passage in the two songs was identical. And that's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching. The main news returns shortly. Thanks, Maya. And the main news again. The Inspector General of Police today ordered a manhunt on kidnappers of Enugu Catholic priests and five pastors of the Redeemed Christian Church of God abducted today. Also today, President Mahmoud Buhari insisted that Boko Haram terrorists have lost their insurgency campaign in the Northeast but admitted that the group has opened up new forms of threats in other fronts. And NATO's Secretary General today disclosed that they would avoid a new arms race with Russia after the U.S. formally withdrew from a key nuclear treaty with Moscow. That's news for tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.